Well, imagine being told at age 90 that you can't take your dream vacation because you can't prove you were born in the U.S., which means a Cottage Grove man is struggling to get a passport. It's all because of where in America he was born. Carol Evans' Lou Ragoose has his story. Just haven't paid too much attention to the candles. Ray Morgan will soon celebrate a new decade. 90 years. Scares me. <laughs> he and his wife Sandy are having some yeah. serious trouble Just planning one last big vacation to mark the monumental yeah. birthday. This is the Canadian Rockies, oh, yeah. and that's what we're hoping to see again. They were last there in 1982. We thought, oh heck, why not? But in 2016, so, crossing the Canadian I, border I requires a passport. And that's where the Morgans' vacation plans hit a snag. My family was born at home. Born in his family's Iowa home. Uh, How do you? you know if that's me? No. Ray has no birth certificate, no proof he's a U.S. citizen. I never needed a birth certificate. But to get a passport, Ray does need one, despite the fact he's served his country. January 45, I got out of the Navy. Then spent 30 years as a market reporter for the USDA, meaning who signed his paychecks? Well, it was... The federal government. Yeah, federal government. Without a birth certificate, the Bureau of Consular Affairs says Ray could have someone who witnessed his birth 90 years ago sign a letter to vouch for him. How is that possible? Or he could gather as much evidence as he can that he's a citizen. Early public records, the passport office calls them. We kind of feel that we shouldn't have to go through this, you know. But the Morgans are working on that and hoping a passport worker will use discretion and allow them this dream vacation. It would just be a trip, you know, we'd always remember. Well, the Morgans actually made a breakthrough today when they learned that Ray's old church in Sioux City, Iowa, still has his baptismal certificate from 1926. Now, that doesn't prove citizenship, but he can send that to the Bureau of Consular Affairs. Then it'll be up to the passport office. Federal law says that they need a preponderance of evidence that the applicant is a U.S. citizen. Guys? Wow, he looks great. Absolutely. Doesn't look 90, that's for sure. All right, yeah. wish him the best. Thanks, Lou.